How you doing? David Quickslow here with another RV repair. This time I'm going after my Dometic toilet. And I have a line in the back. I'm going to take this off and that exposes my line and that's the baby I'm going after so I will uh, get that baseboard taken off and I'll be right back okay so this is very very tight back here and the first thing we're going to need to do is I already loosen this line up you need to take this line off and then to uh, you're going to pop these tabs there's one on top and one on the bottom but before you do that you have two screws you have to come in this way and take these two screws out and uh, that will allow the, uh, once you get these tabs out of here, this whole thing will come out. And once it comes out, then we'll lift this up and uh, we'll take care of this uh, clamp. And we have a new clamp in the bag that I'll show you here. Okay, and here's the parts bag. Take the bag, throw it out. And what we have left is the new part. And inside we have a mesh and they have two extra ones for that. And here are the, uh, the size of the screws you're going to uh, go in there and take out in reverse there. So it's going to be sort of like uh, you have to do it without seeing it. And uh, once we cut that clamp off, this is a new clamp for that white, uh, that white line. Okay. So I'm going to take, that, uh, take those screws out now and I'll, I'll be back once I get those out. All right, I just went in there and I took my camera in reverse and I'm going to show you exactly what I saw. And uh, I focused, my camera focused on it, so. So there is one hole that a screw is supposed to be in and there's the other hole that a screw is supposed to be in, so. It's no big deal. Um, the tabs are still in, but uh, I do have screws that I will be uh, replacing, put, putting in, so. And doing their job properly but uh, I have not touched that that's the way it came from the manufacturer so we're gonna do it properly when we get back all right this is part where I'd like to have uh, three hands uh, to do those tabs I need uh, one tab on the top to uh, stay out and then on the bottom I'm gonna reach around and get the other tab so hopefully I don't have to have three hands to do this and we can get this done so let me I'm going to do the first tab on the top. That's out. And there you go. That was a lot easier than I thought. So once these two screws are out, like I said, the manufacturer did not put them in. So that was easy enough. I didn't have to uh, find them in reverse and try to uh, unscrew them. Uh, and all we have to do now is just get this clamp off and then we'll replace. I'm going to try and find out where this is leaking from. And I'll show you where it was leaking from if I can find it. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I did find out where this was leaking from. If you can see right here, the uh, top here. That is just a manufacturer defect. That is when this plastic part was formed that's the uh, that's a mold that should have been caught and uh, that was just an, a leak waiting to happen and this is the new part and you can see that it's nice and smooth no mold problems everything was uh, injection molded correctly and we'll put this in. So let's get back at it. Okay, we're gonna do everything in reverse now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this um, we broke this clamp off so we need to put the other clamp back on. So we're going to do that first and put that clamp on there. I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit so we're not trying to do it 
in tight cramped quarters. There we go, that should be good. Now we will fit that on there, put our clamp on. We're going to position this valve. We just push this in. We want to position the valve so when we tighten this clamp down, uh, the hose isn't in a weird angle. So there we got it. There we go. And then from there, all we're going to do is just going to snap this in. And remember, we have those screws. So there it is. It should be just a pop. There you go. Let that pop. And all we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to try and do those backwards. I'm going to try and see if we uh, can put those screws in backwards. Let me move the camera over here. Okay, we just want to check to make sure we're in that hole. Got the top one done. Now I'm going to do the bottom one. So all I have to do is go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, so that is in and tight. Now we're going to go ahead and put some uh, plumber's tape on there and uh, hand thread that in. That, that blue line, that blue water inlet onto that and then we'll go ahead and test it. Alright, we got plumber's tape. Now we're just going to plumber tape it up hand tighten it and then finish it off. Make sure you put the plumber's tape on the opposite way that you're going to uh, actually go with the uh, go with the thread so you don't crumple it up and uh, tear the tape. Okay, there we go. Now you want to do this by uh, hand. Don't use a tool, like any other tool, or like any other thread. Uh, if you, especially something as delicate as plastic, do not thread it with a uh, wrench or anything like that. Just go ahead and hand thread it. Uh, you also do it with that brass and stuff like that, so you know you're not uh, you're not going to uh, strip it by putting it on wrong. This is like my college days. My bachelor party. All right, so now that we have it put on there pretty good with your with your hand tightening, we're gonna go ahead and wrench it down a little bit tighter. Remember, this is all plastic fitting, so don't go crazy. Okay, and there you go. So now I have some drips here from water. And what I'm going to do is uh, just going to take a Scott towel, clean those up so the uh, floor is dry, then turn the water on. So you don't want to start with a, uh, a damp floor, then you won't know if anything's really dripping or not uh, at first sight. So Okay, so we just turned the water on. Okay, so I'm going to actually... Okay, so we got water going through there. And now... We're just looking for any kind of wetness here. I put the I put the light on, just making sure that we have uh, see all the any drips that happen. So the water is going through, and I do not see any drips. 
So it looks like our fix is successful. And then it was that uh, it was that valve. I feel no moisture down there. But I will keep an eye on it. So that is basically the uh, the whole process of putting that valve in. Just take your time. Um, a lot of it is uh, backwards behind the stuff. Uh, behind the, uh, you can't really see it, especially those two screws. And uh, hopefully that uh, the manufacturer put those uh, two screws in. And uh, I, did, I don't think that was any problem. Those screws, uh, that, that uh, those tabs were in there pretty, pretty solid. It kept it in pretty tight. And I don't think that's where my, my leak was coming from, but you never know. Um, I did have a problem with it leaking that I didn't know. It was leaking uh, down underneath on the on the uh, edge, and then going under the, the linoleum, and then it was going outside and it rotted my floor in my hallway, and uh, it was a four by two area that I had uh, rotted out. I had to completely take everything out, all the insulation, and uh, so uh, you got to watch these Dometic. I guess. Uh, this toilet's only uh, six years old, and uh, I didn't know it, but we've had we've been having this problem. We thought it was something else. We've been having this problem for over four years with this Dometic toilet, and uh, we just finally found that it was actually because there's never any puddles around our toilet. It was always down underneath the linoleum, and then went underneath our floor out into our hallway and ruined everything out there and then uh, was dripping down four feet down the, the stupid thing and then uh, so that, that was our problem but it uh, looks like we're we're good to go now so I want to thank you if you have any problems if you have any questions just uh, put them down in the comments section and I will answer them and don't forget to check out my winterizing your ice maker very quickly uh, all you need is a uh, jumper wire and probably about uh, 20 seconds of your time very quick check it out thanks I love you.